Hello, here I'm going to show you several examples of low-grade mucoepidermoid carcinoma as it looks on cytology. And this is conventional cytology, and we're looking at the air-dried smear from one of the cases. Uh, at low magnification, we can see that it is relatively hypocellular. There is a lot of rather thick mucin in the background. And as we look around, uh, we can see occasional more cohesive clusters of cells. The cells here have relatively dense cytoplasm and they have oval nuclei and the nuclei are relatively uniform. We don't see marked pleomorphism. In some areas, it appears that the cells almost have tapering cytoplasmic processes. In addition, we also have uh, these single cells which quite closely resemble macrophages in the background and these are very polygonal, they're very large, they have extremely low NC ratios. These are likely to represent mucus cells and should not be mistaken for macrophages. Usually the nuclei are more eccentric and the cytoplasm is not as uh, foamy as you would see in macrophages and also the nucleus is not bean shaped. Here is another relatively flat sheet of epithelial cells where you can see that the cytoplasm is quite dense and the cells appear somewhat squamoid. On this very high magnification view, we can see that uh, the cells here are quite small and have high NC ratios and have quite uh, homogeneous but relatively translucent cytoplasm. These may represent intermediate type cells, but we also see them together with cells with denser cytoplasm and in addition here, several cells with very very low NC ratios and abundant cytoplasm representing mucus cells. Here is a high magnification view of a different case in which you can see the intermediate cells with high NC ratios and minimal cytoplasm and the mucus cells with much more abundant cytoplasm. And again here is likely a group of intermediate cells. Moving on to other areas where we can see mucus cells with more cytoplasm. Here is yet another case and this is the alcohol fixed smear. Again we can see abundant very thick mucoid material in the background. This is quite typical of low-grade mucoepidermoid carcinoma. It is because of the hypocellularity that this may potentially be mistaken for a mucosil or other non-neoplastic lesion. At this high magnification, we can see a cohesive sheet of mucus cells. And again, these cells, if occurring singly, can closely resemble macrophages. But we can see that they are cohesive, they have eccentric nuclei. And over here, we see both epidermoid cells with denser cytoplasm, as well as these mucus cells with very delicate translucent cytoplasm. And here it's a little bit more obvious because uh, we can see the epidermoid cells and we can see the goblet cells with these eccentric indented nuclei and very abundant pale cytoplasm. In fact, this entire cluster is a cluster of mucus cells. Here we have a fairly large sheet of cells with an admixture of cell types, including epidermoid cells with quite dense cytoplasm. There are probably some intermediate cells here as well, which can be quite difficult to appreciate, perhaps the cells with higher NC ratios. And you can see as we focus up and down that there are these very large mucus vacuoles within these mucus cells. Again, we can see these large mucin vacuoles and the indented nuclei in these goblet cells or mucus cells. And this is the corresponding histology to the first case. And we can see that at low magnification, indeed, there are lots of these large cystic spaces from which all the mucinous material was aspirated. We can already appreciate at this magnification the presence of some of these goblets or large cytoplasmic vacuoles. And looking at higher magnification, we see the admixture of epidermoid cells with dense cytoplasm and these goblet cells with very large, very pale mucin vacuoles. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of histology and cytology. And you can see on the cytologic 
picture that we have cells with denser cytoplasm and these very prominent uh, goblets or mucin vacuoles which correspond to these goblet cells on histology. So a quick summary, in low-grade mucoepidermoid carcinoma, we would generally see abundant mucin in the background, and we would try to look for three cell types, the squamous ones with denser cytoplasm, the mucinous cells, which have abundant cytoplasmic mucin and sometimes actually resemble macrophages, and the intermediate cells, which can look like metaplastic cells in pap smears, or just smaller cells with higher NC ratios. A final point to note is that sometimes we can see lymphocytes in the background in low-grade mucoepidermoid carcinoma. Thank you.